This is BBC News. These are the latest headlines in the UK and around the world. People with Omicron are less likely to end up in hospital, as studies suggest it could be milder than previous COVID variants. Scientists say they're cautiously optimistic, but warn the sheer number of infections could still lead to hospitals being overwhelmed. New South Wales proposes to charge unvaccinated people for COVID medical costs. The doctors' union says it's unethical. A raising history, a statue in Hong Kong commemorating the Tiananmen Square massacre is dismantled. We're looking for a 15 month old. Hey, baby. Oh. Both oh. of them are OK, oh, man. Praise God, Lord Jesus. I love that. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And rescue footage emerges of two babies being pulled alive from the rubble of Kentucky's tornado last week and handed over to their grandmother. Hello and welcome. If you're watching here in the UK or around the world, I'm Geetha Goramuthi. The UK government says it is continuing to monitor COVID data after two early studies indicated that the Omicron variant may cause milder illness than Delta, with patients less likely to need hospital treatment. Alongside a similar study from South Africa, early evidence suggests that people infected with Omicron were between 30% and 70% less likely to need a hospital bed than compared with other variants. One of the scientists leading the research, Professor Neil Ferguson from Imperial College London, said the data is good news to a degree, but a big wave of infections could still overwhelm health services. Well, the UK has reported more than 100,000 new daily infections for the first time yesterday. In Spain, the Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez has announced plans for the mandatory wearing of face coverings outdoors following a steep rise in COVID-19 infections. The US President Joe Biden has denied that his administration has bungled their response to the Omicron variant as Americans struggle to get their hands on rapid response test kits. More on all of that in a moment, but first more on the situation here in the UK with our health correspondent Catherine de Costa. <laughs> 